I understood that that's what, what's happening at Manchester, so I'm, I'm not sure what's going... It's very straightforward, this thermal screening. You can screen thousands of people in a day just going through, through the corridors. John, thank you very much. Let me have to leave it. Thanks for joining us tonight. Lucy. Now, they were more concerned about protecting reputations than they were about exposing predatory paedophiles like Sir Cyril Smith. That's the scathing verdict of a long-awaited report into how the elite at Westminster turned a blind eye to allegations of child abuse. The Liberal Party leader, Sir David Steele, one of the most recognisable political figures of the 70s and 80s, actually recommended Smith for his knighthood, despite believing him to be a danger to children. Meanwhile, the former Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher and ex-Conservative Party Chairman Norman Tebbit was said to be aware of rumours about Sir Peter Morrison, the Chester MP, having a penchant for small boys, as it was said, but did nothing about it. Well, the revelations have come from the independent inquiry into child sexual abuse. Our reporter Tim Scott has been getting reaction to its findings. A failure to investigate a paedophile in his party. In 1979, Liberal leader David Steele found out that Cyril Smith had abused young boys in Rochdale, but he did nothing and instead recommended him for a knighthood. So you, so you understood that he'd actually committed these offences from what he said to you? I assumed that. Right. Wasn't that all the more reason to take matters further and hold some form of... Inquiry. No, because it was, as I say, before he was an MP, before he was even a member of my party, it had nothing to do with me. That admission about Cyril Smith was made by Lord Steele to the independent inquiry into child sexual abuse last year. Lord Steele's failure to act on that had very serious consequences. It meant that Cyril Smith remained in public life, and it was because he was in public life that he had access to Knollview School in Rochdale, which was where he abused boys in the 1980s. So there's a direct connection between Lord Steele's failure here and the subsequent abuse of children by Cyril Smith, so it's very, very serious. The inquiry's report, published today, brushed aside Lord Steele's defence that the abuse was in the past and calls his inaction an abdication of responsibility. And it details a catalogue of failings in tackling child sexual abuse by political parties and police going back to the 1960s. I had stripped off and I was told to um, face the wall. So he sat there and I'm facing the wall. He started running his hands down my, down my arms from the back. We've disguised Chris's identity and it's not his real name. He was abused by Smith at Cambridge House Children's Home in Rochdale in the 60s when he was just 15. How do you feel about the fact that people in power knew what was going on but did nothing? I think it's a disgrace. Where do we stand in all this? Us victims of abuse. We're just like little ants. We don't count for anything. All they care about is their own political views, their own political agenda. Today's report also identifies how the then Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher apparently ignored rumours about the Chester MP Peter Morrison having an interest in small boys. The report said the allegations should have rung alarm bells in government. Lord Steele, meanwhile, has resigned from the Liberal Democrats amid speculation the party were going to investigate him for a second time over his dealings with Cyril Smith after clearing him last year. Lord Steele also said he'd be standing down from the House of Lords next month. That will be of little comfort for the survivors of Cyril Smith's abuse. They never saw him answer for his crimes, crimes allowed to go unpunished by an establishment who simply closed ranks. Tim Scott, ITV News.